Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be looking at Adobe Premiere Pro and how to best use its denoise plugins, best practices. Now we won't be going into Adobe Audition, which you can do and put into the spectrogram and look at all that stuff and dial things out, draw them out. But we're going to be using the online plugins in Premiere Pro to see if we can clean up and how best to clean up bad sounding dialogue. Let's roll. All right, we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro, and we're just gonna take a quick look at some best practices for doing denoise here in Premiere Pro. Here's a pretty lousy sounding piece that I did on my iPhone. Hey y'all, here's me in a very noisy environment next to an air conditioner with lots of noise, banging, and all kinds of stuff going on, not to mention just the blowers themselves. And you can hear how that sounds. I mean, it's really, really bad. Uh, one of the first things we can do is we, you know, if we had the ability to bring this into Adobe Audition, we could then go into the histogram and, and do all kinds of stuff there. Uh, but here, just for quick uh, purposes and moving quickly, the first thing we want to do is instantiate a high pass filter and get rid of any low frequency stuff that is inhuman. Basically, anything before below 85 hertz. And I'm also using my iPhone internal microphone on the face. Gross. Hey y'all, here's me in a very noisy and... Yep, and then we'll do, and only then, we will do the Denoise plugin. It's a couple things to keep in mind with Denoise, and you can basically have all the noise and no artifacts, or all the artifacts and no noise. You can't really have no noise and no artifacts. That's really not really possible. So we want to find a clever coefficient that hides the chirpiness, the weird sounds, and also gets rid of the noise. This is the Denoise plugin. Uh, this is your processing focus, broadband, low frequency, mid frequency, low and high, and then high frequencies. Let's check out what a broadband does at 50%. Environment next to an air conditioner with lots of noise, banging, and all kinds of stuff going on, not to mention just the blowers themselves. And 100%? Oh, and you can hear how that sounds. And I'm also using my iPhone internal microphone on the phone. So it does a great job of killing off the noise, but the voice is all wrong. And then if we do 50%, face. Gross. Hey, y'all, here's me in a very... There's, it's still pretty chirpy. Um, and one of the things we can do is either do a smaller reduction a couple of times with another denoise instantiated here like this, where we'll do another one that's broadband, maybe a 20% or a little bit higher. A noisy environment next to an air conditioner with lots of and that's not bad, but one of the great things about this particular plugin is that you can choose a processing focus. And if we know generally where the noise is in the frequency spectrum, we can just select that and kill it. I mean, there's some low frequency stuff down here, no question about it. Noise, banging, and all kinds of stuff. But with the high pass filter instantiated, we've gotten rid of most of it. And what's left is really a mid rangey kind of thing. Let's listen to the output noise only. I mean, to mention just the blowers themselves. And you can hear that sounds. And I'm also using my iPhone internal microphone on the face. And that mid-range may be the answer, leaving our highest frequencies in sibilance alone and the low rumblies. Let's see what happens at 50%. Gross. Hey, y'all, here's me in a very noisy environment next to an air conditioner with lots of... And that's pretty good, less chirpy than this broadband setting. Noise, banging, and all kinds of stuff going on, not to mention just the blowers themselves. Mid? And you can hear how that sounds. And I'm also using my iPhone internal microphone on the phone. And although we're getting a very slight bit more noise, it saves on the uh, chirpiness of the dialogue uh, sounds. If we go to 60%, let's see what happens. Face. Gross. Hey, y'all, here's me in a very noisy Broadband. environment next to an air conditioner with lots of noise, banging, and all kinds of stuff going on, not to mention just the blowers themselves. One of the other things you can do is make this mid-range a little bit less and then instantiate another denoise, but on a different focus. So that was mid-range. Let's add the lows in. And you can hear how that sounds. And I'm also using my iPhone internal microphone on the face. Gross. Hey, y'all, here's me in a very noisy environment next to an air conditioner with lots of noise, banging, and all kinds of stuff going on, not to mention just the blowers themselves. And you can adding, hear how that sounds. Adding just that little bit of 15% on the low frequency really helps uh, put this together. Here's with it out. Here's without it. And I'm also using my iPhone internal microphone on the face. Gross. Hey, y'all, here's me in a very noisy environment next to an air conditioner with lots 
So what, like we would do in a histogram or spectrogram drawing, we would do strong, we, instead of doing one big strong denoise, we'll do several different ones that uh, basically affect different parts of the frequency spectrum to try to hide as best as we can any of that chirpiness that's happening in the sound. So just like in Adobe Audition, it's super easy to be able to build a great sounding dialogue using some of the simple plugins that are available in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If so, please subscribe to us here on the YouTube channel and enjoy the hundreds of videos that we have to help you get that Hollywood level million dollar audience immersion into your productions. And of course, join us at cinemasound.com where we have the world's only fully comprehensive audio education for picture that takes you from knowing nothing about sound all the way to delivering in 5.1 Dolby. And of course, hundreds of articles on how to do the audience immersion that we've been talking about in sound in a lot more detail. Hopefully we'll see you there. If not, we'll see you in post. Even if you're